Hi guys, um, welcome to um, Just In Time Frag and my name is Jit and this is my second video that I'm recording and um, this is the one I'm doing, this is my favorite house actually, um, I'm doing a Chanel collection today and these are the collection that I have and I hope you'll bear with me, I'm not very, I'm not very good in describing the actual uh, notes and all but I'll try my best and um, yeah let's start and uh, as promised this is my second video so um, I'll start with my uh, favorites um, I got Chance Chanel as you can see I've used a bit and Chance is one of the beautiful uh, fragrance that I ever uh, bought and this is my third bottle I think so and uh, this is very musky, floral, spicy earthy and uh, more of like balsamic uh, sort of uh, smell and it's quite sweet as well and the other chance I own is actually I have two of the same I bought a, um, a backup bottle as well <laughs> I think this is 50 mils yeah this is 50 mils that I bought as well that's a backup bottle I'm keeping it in, in the box which I'll be using it later on when I'm done with that 100 ml and this bottle most probably I have owned for four five most probably about eight years now so as you can see um, there's some left about a month of supply <laughs> left in there um, okay that's a chance um, and the next one I will talk about is a another chance I have a fresh or a fresh and this is very uh, yeah they're very fresh fragrance I really like this one uh, this is a flanker of chance and this one hey this one is very fresh more of like a um, very citrusy very uh, fresh floral and very green and very woody sort of uh, smell you can smell on this actually let me put it here so you can see yeah that's uh, a fresh and uh, the other one is a tundra chance channel a tundra this one a pinkish sort of liquid in here so that's another one i owned and this is more of like floral fruity so this is more of a fruity sort of uh, smell you can and sweet uh, fresh sort of spicy citrusy this one this one is really good and very long lasting and only the one I don't own from this chance collection I believe is um, I think so uh, Viva yeah chance channel the Viva that's the one I don't own and which I'm planning to buy as I'm heading for holiday and most probably I'll buy at the duty free or something and then I'll have the or for um, chance collection and this line I really like and very long lasting sort of uh, fragrance when after you apply on yourself and the other one uh, <clears throat> I really like is this is Coco Mademoiselle um, that's 100 mils uh, it's other perform and this one is more of like citrusy uh, very uh, light and sweet and rosy sort of smell and has uh, pat uh, patchouli, patchouli yeah I hope I'm pronouncing it right and this is really a uh, good and uh, beautiful uh, fragrance as well and this is my most probably third bottle yeah this is a third bottle and by the way uh, <laughs> I do have a Edu Tendra um, backup uh, edit under a backup bottle as well for chance so I'm, I'll just keep it here this is the backup bottles sorry okay yeah so they are my chance collection as you can see and then coconut bazelle other perform and uh, the other one I have this is my one of my favorites Coco uh, other perform Coco Chanel um this is really nice one as well and this one would be one of my favorites from this line uh, of or shall i say from this house uh coco chanel is very warm um i find it it's very warm 
it's good for winter very warm spicy it has amber in it most probably uh, very powdery balsamic and it's a bit sweet as well but i find it this one is very good for winter uh, so that's um, uh, Coco Chanel and uh, the other one I own is uh, number 19 Padre Padre this one I have just 50 ml and about 20 ml to go uh, I don't know where the lead is but uh, this is a really nice one and I'm planning to get a um, 100 mils uh, for that and this one has this one is more like very um, woody fresh green um, aromatic powdery floral smell yeah very long lasting and that's other perform and while we are on channel number 19 actually number 19 I own a, a bigger bottle as well that's ADT and very green sort of smell it's more of like um, woody floral earthy aromatic padre and this is more of like fresh it is uh, sort of when you cut grass <laughs> um, if you smell um, after cutting of grass and or maybe cutting of uh, rose and then comparing with the stem and rose together that sort of smell you get from there and that would be my favorite from uh, Chanel this is my favorite Chanel uh, perfume and actually I own a fancy bottle as well um this one is uh edt as well but uh yeah it it has a fancy sort of um as you can see i've used quite a bit yeah so yeah. so that's number 19. uh got two 19s there and then i have coco chanel um edt as well that's um 100 ml and as you can see i have used quite a bit okay, comparing this edp i like edt better than edp and because i find it edp is quite strong edt works really well with my skin so that's uh, chanel coco and then um i have number five number five this is 100 ml edt and most probably this is the most uh, top seller for Chanel and it's a very very um, elegant fragrance but uh, for me as you can see I have owned this for about more than 10 years this same bottle and it's not my favorite from this uh, house I know people are very really crazy about Chanel number no. 5 but I personally um, it's not my favorite in Chanel line yeah it's not my favorite uh, it is more of like classy floral proudy citrusy more of a musky woody but I don't know it just doesn't work for me and I had EDP as well which I gave it to my one of my friends three fragrances from Chanel from this house I owned and I gave it away that was uh, Chanel number no. 5 EDP uh, 100 mils uh, Aloha Sensual EDT version I gave it away and Coco Noir. so Coco Noir was oh, sorry to say but I really hated that fragrance so I gave it away um, that's number five uh, from this house um, this is very classy I know there's a lot of people they love it and I gave it to my mom most probably EDP as well I own three bottles of this so I gave it away and I don't know when I'll be finishing with this this is for me it's more of like uh, when I feel like wearing this then I wear otherwise it will be sitting there just to have that it's in my collection <laughs> and um, next one um, I'll talk about is um, Cristela Cristela Chanel I think it's a Cristela Chanel that's EDP version and uh, this is quite nice fragrance actually it's very woody uh at the aromatic green floral fruity sort of but this one um i don't know either you love it or hate it but i tend to love this one it's really nice crystal chanel and the other one from this uh, same sort of line i own is crystal a verta chanel 
this is edt concentrate and it's 100 mils as well and uh, this one is more citrusy um aromatic more of like greeny floral sort of thing and i really like this one this is really good i really love this one so um just put this back um yeah i, I really enjoy this one this one is a really nice one okay i'll just put this there Coco Chanel. okay um next one uh i think uh coco mademoiselle as you can see this leftover one so i'll just keep it here as well nearly done with that um Aloha Sensual. Aloha Sensual. Aloha Sensual. Am I pronouncing it right? This EDP version. Um, as you can see, um, this is quite a nice, uh, beautiful fragrance. This one is my fourth bottle, I think so. And it's very warm, spicy, more of like woody, uh, balsamic, padre, and very heavy on uh, patchouli. Uh, this one. And this one is full really nice one. And uh, that's my EDP, yeah, sensual, uh, the parfum, um, sensual, uh, the parfum, <laughs> sensual on the bottle, and then I spare one as well, the backup. So I got three bottles of same. It's really nice. Uh, let me open. I think it's the same one I put it in here. I haven't had a chance to use it. Yeah, yeah, it's EDP. Yeah, as well and uh, very nice fragrance and actually very expensive in new zealand this one retails for 200 i think it was about 230 dollars or something 33 dollars for one bottle of this and pff, a lot of money i have to spend on that so yeah but i really like this one okay uh that goes there and then the other one i really nearly done with this aloha this is the original one it's other perform uh, this is very nice one i just bought a um, 200 ml body lotion for that as well and which i'll be using with the fragrance later on because this one cost me about 120 dollars just for the lotion so it's quite expensive and then from that same line I bought EDT, uh, it's more of like a um, gift set sort of thing, as you can see it has a um, 15 ml times 3, yeah, so that's about 45 ml in here, so it's more of like a carry-on, you can carry in your bag, or if you're going heading to offices, whatever it is, uh, even you can carry in your purse, so those two are refills, and this is with the spray and all, and you can use that and easy to carry and so i bought this one as well because i'm i'll be heading to uh, overseas for 20 days and i, I think so i'll take the 15 ml with me it should last me three weeks anyway and a couple of others whichever we i like from there and that one is more of like uh like i said i'm not very good in describing the scent it's very floral uh, woody fruity has citrus and sort of vanilla it has a lot of vanilla in it most probably yeah i can smell vanilla in it so this is quite uh, nice and beautiful fragrance uh, you can own and now males collection the men's collection my favorites i'll just put this away here uh platinum egoist uh egoist i don't know how to pronounce it but this is one of the um uh, best fragrance uh, for male i think so you can buy with this house and uh, sorry i don't have much of i don't know much about notes honestly uh, i'll be a wrong person to talk about notes yeah i'm very wrong i'll be a wrong person in describing the actual notes honestly but i'll try my best it's um fresh spicy sort of smell i can smell on this one and very woody and more of like green floral sort of thing and a bit uh, aromatic yeah very last very long time so that's good good one and the other one this is my favorite one um Alo om sports a extreme this one is my church fragrance when i go church this is the fragrance i wear 
and this is my judge fragrance and this is very citrusy um, aromatic fresh spicy and um, I think so it has more of like balsamic smell as well you can and a lot of vanilla and wood woody sort of smell and this is Chanel Allo Home Sports I really like that one this is really good and then uh, the original Allo Allo Home I don't know how to pronounce it um, this one has very uh, more of like spicy sort of uh, balsamic woody vanilla citrusy very citrusy as you can see I have used quite a bit and I got a lot of compliments with this one and this one is a beautiful 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 fragrance uh, least favorite from this house will be Bleu de Chanel and uh, I don't know why I bought this one it doesn't work for me people say uh, this is really good um, this is um, this and that and it is EDT one and made in France uh, but honestly this is not my favorite for men's version so I don't know just uh, not me. but I'll talk about uh, it's very fresh spicy very green citrusy but it just for some reason you pay a lot of money for these things but pff, doesn't last that long anyway this one will be my least favorite and then I have a couple of um, long home spots uh, one uh, two sorry one one two and then three and four that's my backup bottle for allo home sports um, edt so this is my channel perfumes and hope you'll you like this video and um yeah um i'm sorry if i have offended someone with describing the scent or pronouncing the name and uh, talking about um the ones i don't like or i dislike and i know there's a lot of people have different taste and different favorites and it's up to every individual and like i said at first on my first video as well that fragrance doesn't have any gender uh if you like to wear something you just go for it if you know you like it right end of the day it's your personal choice and you're the one who's spending on it so <laughs> might as well and i'll just go briefly i think so i have so i'll talk about it again that's coco mademoiselle number 19 Padre, Chance, uh, yeah, Chance, uh, Chanel, then I have Chance, a Tendra, Chance, a Fresh, Chanel Chance, 50 ml uh, backup bottle, and then uh, a Tendra backup bottle. I have to buy Viva, which I'll be buying soon. And then you have Bleu de Chanel, you have uh, Allo Homme. Alarm Spots uh, A Extreme Platinum EUS Channel. Okay, that comes here. And then Allo Sensual Ade Parfum. Ade Parfum Allo Sensual Channel. And then I have a backup bottle for Allo Sensual as well. Uh, so that's like I got about one, two, three bottles of that. And then you have Allo Just EDP. And then you have EDT. I have a uh, body lotion for Hello EDT, uh, Coco Chanel, Coco Mademoiselle. By the way, this is EDP, and that's EDT Coco Chanel. Number five EDT. Uh, so this is it. Um, Crystal Everta or Everta or Veta. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Crystal Chanel at the Parfum, this one, number 19, my favorite, number 19, number 19, my favorite, cool, and then I got one, two, three, four of the same, that Allo Orm Sports or the Toilet, as you can see, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, about 28 bottles of uh, Chanel's about 28 bottles of Chanel I own so thank you guys and hope you are all doing well and uh, everything is uh, going well for you and um, I'll be coming back with my another review uh, next house I'll be coming up with this uh, so Chanel done Chanel done um, 
I think so I'll go for maybe Christian Dio or Lancome or Estelada, one of those brands and then Kenzo. There's a lot of brands I have and I own a lot of fragrances anyway and uh, one by one I'll be reviewing, doing my reviews, just bits and pieces what I have and what you can buy for yourself, what you'll enjoy wearing and most of all it's what you like to wear. You know what I mean? And not all the channels will be good for you from this house anyway. And it all depends on your taste. And for me, um, I love Chanel fragrance because um, they last really long, like after applying. And uh, it has really, really um, long longevity, more of like a siage and also it's really good and very long lasting fragrances. And the main thing with this fragrance is this is unique. Uh, it's more of like something different that uh, you wear from um, other Chanel um, perfumes uh, or any other houses. Um, so they have something in their um, perfumes that it's quite uh, different from other fragrances that you buy or you wear. I don't like much of um, what do you call celebrity fragrances, but one house I really like uh, from celebrity range is. Um, Elizabeth Taylor and I think so I own almost every single bottle of that uh, white diamond flankers I think so if I'm, if I'm not mistaken <laughs> but I really like it and um, hope you enjoyed this video and please um, do like and share and help me to grow and um, this is not to this review I'm doing it just for fun and uh, please do not put any ne negative comments uh, I'm trying my best. This is my second video. And um, yeah, so that's about it, me. And I'll be coming back with another video of one of the houses from Lancome, Estelada, or most probably uh, Dio. So one of those houses I'll be doing my review on. Till then, take care and bye for now.